hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome my name is Taja let's get straight into this video as you can see by the title in today's video I'm going to talk all about my Invisalign this is the actual first sit down video that I have on my channel with my trays on I just filmed another video and I'm gonna do a voiceover because I just feel like my lisp and the way I talk now is so different and it's so crazy but I'm starting to get used to it I'm currently on my fourth tray of Invisalign but don't worry guys I'm going to catch you all up girl about what Invisalign has been like for me the process all the details and I also have some questions that I'm gonna be answering so if you want to know all of that thank you so by the way I have a couple of key points that I wrote down here so I just like want to make sure that I'm not missing out on any information for y'all so let's get started on a little background about my teeth and why I wanted to do ortho and why I consider braces versus Invisalign. So as some of you may know, I have a vlog on my channel where I walked you through the process of me getting my skin and everything taken care of for my Invisalign. I'll have the link down below. But long story short, growing up, I have always had pretty straight teeth. Um, I even had a gap in between my two front top teeth at one point. So my teeth were pretty spaced out, pretty straight. Now my family has history of like pretty crowded teeth. A lot of people that I know my family have had braces before. Um, when I turned about 13, 14, I started noticing some shifting and but around my teeth, especially with my canines and my gap had closed drastically to the point where my two front teeth were crossing over so I have always known that I was probably going to need some type of correction whether it's braces or Invisalign sometime in the future as some of you may know I am a dental hygienist so when I started working at the office that I work at now um, our office offers Invisalign so that is something that I on a daily basis talk to my patients about is straightening their teeth um, yeah, when I started with my office, that was pretty much the first time that I had heard a lot about Invisalign like that because we offer Invisalign. I take scans for my patients that are getting Invisalign. I have patients that are in Invisalign. So, I mean, I hear about it every day. I'm pretty interested. So, the first thing that I did was um, make an appointment with an orthodontist because not only did I have issues with crowding, I also was dealing with a crossbite. Um, I have a crossbite which a crossbite is basically when the bottom teeth are shifted towards one side a little more so you don't have that alignment they're either shifted to the right shifted to the left and they are just not biting right on each other so I made an appointment with an orthodontist because I wanted to see if I was going to be a candidate for braces and Invisalign as well um so the orthodontist um that I went to, he assured me that I would be a candidate for both. For that process, what I started with was a scan. Now, most people that have braces and Invisalign have had impressions taken, like the gooey, uncomfortable impression material. Now, for Invisalign in my office, you don't have to go through that at all, which is one thing that I loved about it. So for Invisalign, basically the first thing that they did was take a 3D scan of my teeth to really have an exact copy of how my teeth are looking. So that was the first step. The second step after that was to basically get some intro old photos to get some photos of my teeth. So I took a profile photo. I used these retractors to um, get a side view of each side. Different pictures for them to study my case and help shift my teeth better. After that, it was pretty simple. My doctor kind of studied everything, looked at what he, you know, what he needed to do. He sent over all the details to the lab and it was just a matter of waiting came back in January and my Invisalign cases were here. Um, so basically when my trace came back, um, then it was time to place the bumpers on my teeth. Basically placing the bumpers on my teeth is really what's going to help move those teeth faster, grab onto the trace to do the movements and do the job that it has to do, honey. 
but, but you notice maybe four on the back on each side I mean just a few and when I looked at my skin honey I had bumpers all around my bottom teeth that were supposed so really there's an outline that tells you how many bumpers they need to place and where and I had bumpers all over honey I was like uh can we reevaluate because hold on hold on hold on this is a little too much for me um my whole Invisalign journey was going to be about 26 weeks which is approximately six months so that's not bad at all we all know that braces is a long and like really long journey usually and a lot of times Invisalign is about a shorter time than braces so question might be why did I pick Invisalign versus braces because I can't do it I just can't do braces I can't do the wires the brackets having those metal braces all around your teeth for a long period of time okay let's talk about the real thing everybody wants to know how much was Invisalign okay so we are okay so Invisalign is offered in that office for $5,400 Okay, so $5,400 for a full case of Invisalign. Yes, girl, it's about the same with braces. Um, now, being an employee there, um, I had a really, really, really good discount. Now, you have some insurances that might cover um towards Invisalign some of them have an age limit like 22 23 or just they just don't cover it at all like I said I didn't have to pay that I had a pretty great discount and that also affected my decision to pick Invisalign was because I'm like I'm saving some coins honey. um let's fast forward to me getting my bumpers on really to put my bumpers on it's basically the same process almost as putting a small filling on your tooth so the bumpers are small little tooth colored so they're the same color as your tooth but they're tooth colored bumpers that are placed around your teeth and i'm gonna show you guys my bumpers in a little bit but basically like i said they grip onto your trays and help move your teeth around i have bumpers basically right here right there so you see these little things that stick out so when I'm taking my um, trays out by the way I take them out like that ah. okay they are pretty tight When you first put them on and you're taking those trays out like to eat, to drink or whatever, it feels like you're going to pull a tooth out taking them out. But you just got to, the faster you do it, the better. Okay. I have my yacht. So start from the center and then just adjust the back. Which the bottom ones kind of snap in a little more than the top. It really depends on how tight they are. So I am currently in week four out of 26, okay? So this is my fourth tray. With Invisalign, every week you have to change your tray. Okay, so my first tray. Um, wearing my first tray was different, of course. The first thing that stands out to you is that you have something in your mouth. My first tray, I was not in pain, believe it or not. Like that first night, it's almost like when I watch braces videos, like they will tell you they're not in pain the first night. Maybe like the first three days, I would say for sure. It wasn't a crazy amount of pain. It was just like my teeth felt super tight. Now let's talk about lifestyle changes because... I mean, you're going to change a lot of things about your oral care, about your oral hygiene. If you weren't a big fan of flossing often, if you were not a big fan of brushing multiple times a day, then girl, Invisalign is not for you because with Invisalign, every time that you are about to eat or drink anything other than water, you need to remove your trays. Um, now, if you're drinking water, you're good. But like, let's say you're drinking sweet tea, I mean anything, other than water and it when you're ready to eat you got to remove your trays you eat or drink whatever and you absolutely have to brush and floss before you put those, those trays back on so now i'm brushing like five six times a day right now because every time i remove my trays i need to make sure i'm brushing before i put them back on with that being said sometimes i don't even feel like removing them because i'm like man 
I just really want a snack, but I'm, I have to remove them, eat the snack, then go brush, and then floss, and then put them back on. That's going to be too long. I don't even have all this time, so I just don't eat that snack. So my lifestyle has been just a few changes to my lifestyle. I snack less. I'm drinking less, like, unhealthy stuff because I'm like, okay, I just, I can only drink water right now because I only have, like, a minute to drink something. Like, if I'm at work in between patients, you know? So different things that are changing. I thought I was in pain for the first two trays until I put the uh, my third tray on and I instantly started feeling like my teeth were just hurting like my teeth were in a lot of pain in tray three not only were they in a lot of pain there was a part around the tray that was cutting up to um my upper lip on the inside girl it was both on the upper and then both on the bottom here this whole side so I just felt like I had like canker sores. I had just like, just like, just soreness. I just was in so much pain that I couldn't even talk that. Now, and that discomfort usually happens within the first few days of you wearing the tray. But then when you're ready to switch out or like within that ending of, of that first week, you don't have to worry about that. So um, also I want to show you the box that I got. This is the box that I got when um, I first received my Invisalign case. It came in this bag right here and I received five of my trays. Inside of the box there was this um, case right here which is so cute but um, this is the case that you can put your trays on when you remove them when you take them out. So you have this, some cleaning crystals to clean your trays if you want to. And this is inside of the tray that you can put. I really like this by the way. This looks so fancy. So y'all ask me, do you have to take them out every time you eat? If so, is it annoying? So I already answered that you do. And yes, it can get annoying. What do you hate about it? Did I hate, absolutely hate about it? Um, how uncomfortable it felt around my lip, like feeling that, that cut off part of the tray. So really how uncomfortable some trays may feel. Would you recommend it for someone who is trying to close their gap? Absolutely. Invisalign is so much faster and better for like um, spacing. If you're trying to close everything up, I mean, you would be a great candidate closing. Pain level. I'm getting mine on February 14th. I'm nervous but excited. Pain level. Girl, my pain tolerance is pretty high. So I would say pain level is like a 6. Um, some trays might feel like it's an 8. So it really depends. But pain level is about moderate. How often do you have to wear the Invisalign? Okay, good question because I almost left that out. Basically, you have to wear your Invisalign all day. Um, you have to at least make sure that you're wearing them 20 to 22 hours a day, okay? So you're only removing them when you're eating and um, or drinking anything other than water. So 20 to 22 hours a day is basically what they ask for. Now, um, do you have any concerns with your bite or you have minor issues like crowding of teeth? So I have both. I have, um, I would say, a moderate crowding and then I have bite issues. Another thing, speaking of bite, is that you might notice that when you wear certain trays that your bite is going to be off. Your bite might even get worse before it gets better. Um, like this tray, when I put them on, the first thing I said was, I can't bite down. Like when I bite down, my teeth don't touch. So I'm going to show y'all. See? See this taste right here? See? So it can be pretty off. Um, but anyways, I hope that I covered all of you guys' questions and concerns about wearing Invisalign. Um, I'm still kind of going through the process myself, so I might make a video and update you guys on everything. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. Make sure that y'all are subscribed to this channel and follow me on my social media to keep up with me. And I will be seeing y'all in my next video. Bye!